Okay, so today we're going to take a, take a look at LinkedIn, and I'm going to show you five ways to leverage LinkedIn that perhaps you're not using right now. So um, for those of you that may not be on LinkedIn, it is the number one professional networking site on the internet. They have about 35 million users right now. So it's fast, it's growing, jump in. So most of you start off with posting your profile. So that's where we are right here. I'm Robin Levin, here's my profile. Feel free to browse it later on. Um, so if you scroll down below that, I want you to see how I added another feature. I added my blog right here, so you can do that too if you have a blog. Simply use one of the applications, you click on Add Application, and uh, Marlevin Marketing Group, my company, does use the WordPress platform to create blogs. So I installed that here, and so anytime I have an update to my blog, it automatically gets posted right here on LinkedIn. So for instance, the other day I did Twitter confirms paid pro accounts on the way and talked a little bit about uh, Twitter and what's happening with businesses that are leveraging Twitter in many new ways, including monitoring, monitoring their brands online, reaching out and getting in front of their audiences, and those are things that you should be considering too for your business. So you could click the link right there and it would take you to my blog, which looks like that. And by the way, if you want to get my blog updates by email, simply go ahead and fill in your email name right there and you'll be updated that way as well. So back to LinkedIn. So that's how you can quickly and immediately and automatically update your blog. Now something else I did was I started a group and I suggest that you either start or join a group or do both as well. And many of you know me as marketing and PR consultant to Pensco Trust Company, um, which I've been doing for since 2004. And they're a self-directed IRA custodian, so I started an educational group so that all the people that we've come in contact over the years can stay involved with the conversation online in a professional networking environment like LinkedIn. So you can click that link, go over to the self-directed retirement investing education group. So let's say that you joined a group, or you started a group, or you're a member of a group. Well, my third tip would be start a discussion. So I went in to take a look at the new discussions and I see here Jeffrey Lehrman, who's one of my Get Smart Marketing Boot Camp attendees, um, is using what he learned in the camp and he posted a new discussion. He's a real estate investor attorney, real estate investor's attorney. And he posted what every real estate investor in trouble must understand about tax issues. So feel free to read that and then click on add comment. And that's another way to engage in online networking. And also, you'll have your name associated with the link in your comment field. And so it helps keep that uh, conversation going online. So the another area that you can utilize in the groups is the News tab. And there I'll post articles that have been published from press releases I've written. Um, there was one I sent in about a week or two ago. and. Um, the latest one I actually grabbed from Tom Anderson's blog, who's the CEO of Pensco Trust, and shared some news on his blog, which, by the way, is selfdirectedira.com. And I grabbed that article, posted it here on LinkedIn, because it happens to talk about how entrepreneurs are waking up to alternative funding using retirement money uh, from investors. So that's pretty relevant to the group. You can do the same. And sadly, a lot of people are losing their jobs these days in the economic turmoil situation we're in. LinkedIn is obviously a great place to connect and either post um, a job offering that you may have if your company is growing, or if you're looking for a job, a lot of people are posting their resumes here on LinkedIn. So there's a lot of power behind um, just LinkedIn.com and putting up a profile. And the last tip I'll show you is get involved with Q&A. Occasionally I'll go in to answer some people's questions in my related field or the group. So for instance, we click on my Q&A and I look to see how I can help some small business owners out with their marketing. Um, let's see, where is it here? Here we go. Uh, I answered a question here that somebody posted that said, what unusual means do you use to help promote your business? 
So I replied, and feel free to reply, or feel free to read my reply. And when I went back in to see um, some new questions and answers, I noticed that my answer was selected as best answer. So that can help it. That can happen with you as well. When you go in, you answer questions, you're starting to get well known, and you're building your um, expertise and visibility, and people will start to contact you for business. So definitely get involved with posting questions and answering questions. And those are the five tips on how to leverage LinkedIn. Don't forget to subscribe to my podcast series on digital marketing tips for more. Thanks. Bye for now.